Good evening and welcome back to Let's Play Dreamfall Chapters. When we left off last time, we caught up on our journal. We finished a therapy session with our ethically dubious therapist. He's, I'm not impressed with him at all. And now we are out into the wild city. So let's take a look at things. I think, okay, so I think there's like the little banner up top here the top of the window that you can see. And I'm feeling like I didn't have that in the first couple episodes and now it's there and I don't know how to fix it because I'm not good at technology. So we're just gonna deal with it, I guess. Um, this is one of those things. I'm not good at upgrading, at keeping my computer up to date. And so sometimes I'll need help with something and then my husband will be like, why, you have all these updates. Why didn't you get any of these updates? If you update all your drivers and stuff, then it will probably help. And I say, oh, okay, I didn't realize. So then, I was using my computer earlier this year and I get this little message on the side that's all like, oh, you can upgrade to Windows 11. And I thought, oh, well, I better do that, right? I'll be on top of things this time and I'll do it. And then sometime later, I was struggling with something. I asked my husband for help and he says, why is this Windows 11? And I said, because it told me that I should update it. So I updated it. And he's like, no, that's the one update you should not have done. And now you can't take it back because you can only roll it back for like, I don't know, three to five days or something. He's like, no, I don't use Windows 11 because it sucks. You're stuck with it now. So fabulous. So I don't know if this is a problem with that or if it's something else that probably could be fixed, but I don't know how to fix it. I don't know. We're just, we're rolling with it. So. What do you mean I need a okay, permit? Okay, I wanted to hear this conversation. I have a permit. I paid a fucking fortune for this permit. But your permit is no longer valid. You'll need to have it renewed. That is how permits work. You have 24 hours to comply. Fuck off. You have 24 hours to comply. <laughs> that, that makes absolutely no sense. <laughs> If, if you do not comply, you will be detained and your food cart confiscated. If you so much as touch Carl, I will cut off your testicles and make a kebab. The threats are counterproductive mm. and punishable by law. You have twenty. How does it feel working for a fascist fucking regime, trampling all over the working people? I'm okay with it. Great help, but no overtime pay is decent. Twenty-four hours. Oh, oh, what it look at that. What do I, what uh, do I do with it? Hey, where oh. are you? Just leaving therapy on my way to the shop. What's up? Uh, neck deep. Would I be a bad boyfriend if I asked you to stop by that place with the uh, crazy person and the good food? Nella bites, sure. And lazy, not bad. What? Not bad boyfriend, lazy boyfriend. What do you want? Uh, your pig. Nothing... Exotic. <laughs> Affirmative. I'll stop by Nella's right now. I should be at your office in 15? Thanks. You're the best. I am. <laughs> See you soon. Freedom and food to the Brolo! Oh, and there's Nella. Okay, she was... This was one of our potential friends. Daddy. So... Okay, so that gives some context there. So that that interaction she just had there, it's kind of intriguing because it really it seems like it could go either way, right? So we have we have heard that they're they're tightening things down. You have to have permits to pass through checkpoints. That does sound pretty intense. This is not a great governing system we've got going on. It seems like, but at the same time, on the other side of that, like when she's complaining, if they're telling her, if her if her permit legitimately has expired, like. For my job, I have to. I have a certification, and um, I now have licensure. Uh, didn't pre require licensure at first, but Michigan decided that now we need licensing. So yeah, and I have to. Those don't. It's it's not just I've won and done, and I've bought it and I have it forever. Like every two years, I have to recertify, and there's a cost associated with that. The license. How long? I think the license lasts more like six years or something. But also, it's something I have to pay for to continue to be able to practice. So. For Nella to complain here, Nella, not Nayla, like I was thinking. Um, you have to. If she's especially if she's selling people food, I would expect there would be permits you need for that. There's going to be requirements, you you know, sanitation requirements and whatever else to be sure that you're selling people things that aren't going to make them sick. So yeah, you have to have a permit, and if her permit legitimately has expired then whether she likes it or not she needs to go and she needs to recertify right she's got to she's got to pay to renew that um but it's possible also given what we know of this government that maybe they are unfairly i don't know has it legitimately expired or is or are they toying around with her it's hard to say but it's interesting in our conversation with reza when he says can you get me some of that food from the crazy person? So he doesn't have a very high opinion of her. It might be that she's just one of those people, and especially 
Zoe said in her journal about Nella being a Marxist. That, I don't know, that just kind of makes me think that probably there's a good chance that a lot of the complaints Nella has aren't valid complaints. I don't, I'm, I'm very critical of Marxism and people who identify as Marxists. Sorry guys if you're a Marxist. In my experience, most people who claim to have those kinds of ideologies are people who have lived in very, people who have had very soft lives compared to most of the world. And I would argue that most people in the U.S. have had very soft lives in comparison to the rest of the world. These are people who, for the large part, haven't really struggled and are seeking some kind of conflict to struggle against, to define themselves against. And so they've picked these outrageous ideologies that always fail in practice and fail horribly, right? Look up the history of like communism and how attempting communism has worked out for most countries that have done it. There's been massive atrocities in the name of communism. So just these are things that tend to fail and the people that espouse these ideals they tend to be just kind of young, aimless, looking for some sort of conflict people. That's how it feels to me. Edgy people. People who, people who want to be edgy, who want to push buttons, who want some kind of conflict. And it's very difficult for me to take these kinds of people seriously. And I think most of these people, if they actually lived in a nation that tried to employ any of these ideologies that they espouse, I think it would go very badly for them. And they would quickly see that it's actually terrible in practice. But... That's not going to happen, right? Because they're arguing from the comfort of a first world society where all their basic needs are pretty well met. So I don't know. It just feels it feels like immaturity and naivety to me. That's that's the impression that I get about those kinds of things. So I'm a little biased against Nayla to start Nayla to start with if that's the type of thing that she argues for. But Nayla has a nickname for her mobile kitchen, and that nickname is Carl. Because Marxist. Of course. Nella Bites is one of the best food carts in all of Propast. Whatever she's cooking is super tasty and incredibly unhealthy, but. I mean, she's able to be a small business owner here, right? She's got. She's able to eke out a living however she wants. She's got a, probably a lot more freedom than. I don't know. I can't argue that she has a whole lot more freedom than she believes herself to because. She, we did hear that the the city is is buckling down and they've got all the checkpoints and stuff. So it's not it's certainly not great, but I have a feeling it's probably not as wildly bad as she's making it out to be either. Nella's cart, Carl, serves up some really tasty fried cheeses, sausages, and soups. Sometimes she combines them all. Five stars, easily. Yeah, cheesy sausage soup sounds pretty good. All right, let's look back at. Nayla has a nickname uh, for her mobile kitchen. Okay. And I just want to see what we have to say about her. Street chef, but Marxist, spark plug, and friend of mine. I do love her in smaller doses. She gets a little tiring, huh? I met Nella after my first appointment with Dr. Roman. She sold me some fried cheese and I fell in love. With the cheese, not with Nella. Although she is pretty cute. Cute or not, I thought you were so happy with Reza. She's not happy with Reza. She's trying to tell herself she is, but she's not. Nella's cool. She gives Nella me a good kick in the ass whenever I obsess I too much. We may not be BFFs, but she's definitely a good friend. Which this is the point here. I mean, you can be friends with someone who holds ridiculous ideologies. It's possible. I've been friends with people who claim that they're anarchists. And again, they claim this from the safety and security of living in a non-anarchist nation. They say, I believe that's the way that people should be living, but it's if there were actual anarchy, I don't think they would fare well. So you can you can be you can find meaningful friendships in people who believe ridiculous things. It's possible. What's this up here? Building the new Europe. Because that went well. That boundless optimism was swiftly crushed by reality. Well, hopefully I'm only not supposed temporarily. to project positive vibes, but I find those billboards super creepy. Nella bites, but I don't. <laughs> Nella. Street chef. Okay, Marxist, so that's all the observations about her. Let's talk. See that? I do love her in smaller doses. I did see that. I can't believe the eye is harassing Nella. She sells food. It's not like she's doing anything illegal. Is she? If her permit's expired, she is. I mean, I know she's politically involved, but there's no law against being Marxist. See, this is the thing again where it's dicey. When they were when they were talking to her, they weren't saying anything about her being Marxist. And actually, she was shouting and being insulting to them, and they weren't in response. They're just doing their job. Um... 
but I want to be careful because I don't want to argue too strongly on the side of the government because the government could be at fault. They might be targeting her because she's a dissident, but they might not be. I don't know. It's this game, this game, again, it does a lot of things that kind of mirror, it feels like things that are going on currently in the world where it's, you have these two sides, you have these people claiming that one side is a fascist and the, they're claiming the other side is communist and all this finger pointing and all this arguing and it's hard to say. I think the truth really does lie somewhere in the middle for the most part, right? It's not, they're not necessarily targeting her specifically and unfairly. If her permit's expired, her permit's expired. She's got to have a permit to operate a food cart. Just renew your permit, Nella. But on the other hand, it's possible that maybe they are focusing a little more strongly on her because they don't like her politics. Could well be the case. I shouldn't get involved. I have enough on my plate and I'm running late and... I'm already neck deep in the Uminska campaign. I don't need more political drama. True. I don't really need any political drama. I mean, honestly, that's probably the better way to go. Because again, as I said last time, I don't really believe that any of the political parties care that much about your average everyday people. So probably less political drama in your life is better. But it's also less interesting. But I hmm. can't believe the eye is harassing Nella. She sells food. This is, it feels like a little dicey. I don't want to encourage her in she? her raging against the machine I mean, or whatever. Because I, I think a lot of that, involved, but there's no law against being Marxist. sometimes there's change that needs to come and something and it can be beneficial for people to try to, but I don't know. But I think sometimes that we embrace change too strongly. And it, it, what's, you know, the phrase that don't throw the baby out with the bathwater, right? I think some people who want change want to overhaul absolutely everything and they don't stop to consider what institutions that have been built up over time that are worth preserving, right? We don't need it to overhaul everything. We need to slow measured change is a better way to change. If we really think about what we're doing and and just and focus on on the issues that matter the most and, and fixing those instead of this dramatic sweeping we need a whole new order or whatever like it's it's too much so i don't want to i don't want to press her too much to the, and i think also i'll be i think i think that when you encourage someone especially i don't know how old nella is but especially when you encourage someone who's feeling kind of who's younger and maybe feeling kind of fiery about what do i want to do with my life i want to impact the world i want to make the world a better place right i want to change things and when you encourage them too much in that kind of direction like changing everything i think i think people lose appreciation not again this was a person i was talking to that i'd mentioned before i talked to over the summer i i found this very distraught young person walking along the side of the road so i stopped to talk to him to see what the problem was and he was freaking out about the state of the world and how terrible everything is and how poorly various peoples are treated and whatever else and he said what am i supposed to do i'm just one kid and that's the thing is i i think there's too much pressure on people that we need to change everything we need to fix everything all at once and no one person can do that. I think it's better for someone like this to teach you. And I think most people would be happier if you focus on the things that you can change within your own life and just making your own little piece of the world, your own little section of life as good as you can and finding satisfaction within that. I think if all of us did that, then the world as a whole would improve. I think I think striving to to force all the world to match our ideals is is ultimately going to fail. It's going to get a lot of people angry, and it's po it's possibly going to get a lot of people hurt too, right? Because the world is big enough and diverse enough that we're not all going to agree on everything. Like when you think about it, this is, this is the thing that gets me that I, like when they were talking the the when the therapist was talking about his father being a traditionalist and not wanting all of the Europe united, right, their, their European nation they have here. And I think the same thing here where there's some people who talk about the need for globalization and I don't think there is a need for that. I think just in, in our own community, just in school, just think about your days in school, right? There are some people, there are plenty of people that you've known for a long time, you've been going to school with them for a while, and some of them you like, and some of them you don't like. Some people, the more you talk to them, the more you get to, and get to know them, the more you end up liking them, and other people, the more you talk to them, and the more you get to know them, the more you don't like them. Some people just don't get along, right? And that happens in all spheres in life. There, Some of us are just never going to agree about certain things. Some of us have personalities that don't mesh well. So if we can't even, just within these small groups, everyone get along and hold hands and be happy family how are we going to manage that on a global scale we're not i think it's smarter to recognize that different people have different values and different people are going to 
have different sort of moral systems, and we can agree on some things like we can agree that child abuse is wrong. Now, exactly what constitutes child abuse, that's, it, it gets dicey when you get down to the definitions. Like some people would say spanking is okay. Some people would say spanking is, or physical discipline is not okay. Um, I think we could all agree that any form of like sexual abuse is definitely wrong. So, you know, you can, you can come up with some things like that. I've, and I think most societies have. Like, in general, murder is illegal pretty much everywhere you go. Everyone is able to recognize. So, stuff like that, wide-scale stuff like that, we can kind of agree. You can kind of look at But other stuff, you got to, I think we've got to just let people live their lives, or at least on more like a country scale, in the ways that they want to. Instead of focusing on everyone unifying and following the same sort of rules, we need a whole lot more of lower lower government oversight on a wide on a high level and a lot more local so like looking at the united states we need a lot more federal oversight and a lot and much more things being decided at state and local levels that's what i really think and i think for the the world too stop focusing on globalization stop focusing on ways that we can homogenize instead accept that there's differences and work within those so anyhow we're going to not get involved because i think if we encourage her in this it's ultimately bad for her she's going to it's just too much focus on on wide scale issues that she's not going to be able to impact and it's going to lead to a lot of dissatisfaction i think in her personal life i think she needs to focus more on her day to day and what she can do to make her own life as good as possible I think that's more constructive. I shouldn't get involved. Sorry, that was a whole lot of ranting. Sorry, Nella, I just have to buy Reza's lunch. You know what they say. First they came for the communists, and I didn't speak out because I wasn't a communist. Good if they came for the communists. You are a communist. (laughs) Marxist. And that's not the point. The eye is clamping down on our freedoms. They're restricting transit between the districts, working directly with parliament to silence revolutionaries. One of these days, I won't be around to sell you lunch. I'm sure they won't. Arrest me for committing thought crimes? Wait and see, I'd say. Something's up. They already arrested some folks I know in the Berlin district, holding them on suspicion of terrorism. Crimes of the mind, Zoso. That's their angle. So, okay. Okay. I just... She keeps saying things, and it's just needling me, because this is an issue that bugs me. I... You you think communism would give you more freedom? Nella? Really? Really? No. No, I think she's very foolish. I think she's exposing herself for foolishness here. No. It, it. So anyhow. Okay. It just whoop. And again, she might have some points. They might be clamping down on people, and that's not great. But it's not like if it were communist that everything would be better. It wouldn't. It's neither form is it. She's she's too ex- she well, they 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 warned us. They said it said that she's extreme, so Maybe, I don't know. You can be friends with extreme people. I She's the type of person that if I were face-to-face with her, I would probably just bite my tongue a lot and then not hang around her much. They also released a cloud of biographiti on the Reichstag, but terrorism? Come on. Oh, wait. Now, if your friends released biographiti, maybe that, uh, they're sounding like maybe not great people. They're sounding like maybe they're deserving some of the things coming their way. Scary. Scary. That's exactly what it is. And your candidate isn't going to change anything for the better. Maybe not. But Uminska won't change anything for the worse, either. Unlike Konstantin Wolf. Kaiser Konstantin. Puta! If that schwein gets elected, I'm moving to Paris. They'd never let you in. One of the conglomerate city-states of North America, then. Newport. The fucking Republic of Los Angeles. Hell, even Bostonia. Anywhere but Kaiser's Europe. That's why Leia Uminska is the best choice. No one's going to put the Marxists in office, Nela. At least my candidate has a fighting chance. And she is a socialist. She's a moderate, Zoe. A moderate! What's the point in that? Moderation is just another word for compromise. That's anyway, the point. Compromise having? is the point. Having? Lunch, Zozo. For your turbo. Mm. Listen, I have a new supplier for Porkwurst. The collective down on Caprova. Organic meat, the real deal. None of that vat-grown slop. Don't know how they do it. Connections on high, plenty of mouses swapping hands, but they're legal, I think. You think? 
Okay, see, again, this is why they're cracking down on your your food cart here, Nella, because you're, you're selling people things that you're not even sure if it's legal or not. Legal, I'm assuming that's what legal is, the same as, like, legal. Like, it's kind of dubious. The pork sausages sound totally delicious. I'm not sure Reza will agree, but he needs to be more adventurous when it comes to his diet. I mean, pork sausages to me sound delicious, but not necessarily Nella's because she doesn't know where they came from. Also, it's not what Reza wants. He did specifically say nothing adventurous. The pork sausages sound delicious, but Reza plays it safe when it comes to food. Europolitan through and through. No tolerance for organic meats. I'm working on it, but baby steps. Some people just are like that, Zoe. My husband is not adventurous at all with food. I will try out anything. And sometimes it's a little frustrating because sometimes I'll see a restaurant and be like, oh, we could try that place. And he'll be like, no, I don't want to go there. Like, whatever. And then it means if I'm cooking stuff at home, I have to make sure to cook things that he will actually be willing to eat instead of cooking just whatever I want to cook to try out. So I understand different different ways people think about food, but I can't, I'm not going to blame him about it. People like the things they like, and it's, I don't think it's really fair to try to force someone out of their comfort zone with food. Let him eat what he likes to eat. He specifically asked us, please pick him up something of the sort that he would like, and the origin of her pork sausages sounds dubious. Let's get some cheese soup. I'm going to have to go with the cheese soup again. Dobra, coming up. You should join the protest this afternoon. No, thank you. On the sector office. I think it would take a lot more than a political rally for Mira to give me time off. I'm gonna have to pass. Smart girl. We'll probably get beaten by the bulla and tossed in the zona. Just another fucking Monday in Propast. Here you go. Thanks, Nella. If you reconsider, we'll head out around noon. Time to let those cunts know we're watching the Watchmen. Down with the fascia! So what are you gonna do, though? at your protest. Are you just going to march around with signs and basically clog up traffic and irritate people? Or do you have actual goals? This is a thing I've been talking about a lot with my husband. Because um, um, I was asked, do you want to go to a protest? It's going to be like a women's march. And I thought, well, maybe that could be a good thing if I do some political stuff. And then he said, okay, so, so what is it you guys are marching for? What are you protesting for? What are your specific goals? And I realized we didn't have any. And that's, that's the thing with all these protests. Cause I keep hearing people, you know, people protest about various stuff here and there. And it's like, but if you don't have, I mean, I think protests can be very effective. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying don't protest, but I'm saying if you're going to do it, there's got to be a purpose to it. Right? What are your specific actionable goals? If your goals are just like one of the things with the women's thing, they wanted to say, we think that rape culture is a problem. And it's like, okay, what do you want to do about it? And it's just that they want there to not, we, we want men to not rape women. Like, okay, that's great. And I agree with you. And actually so does our government. And that's why it's illegal. And there's punishments for that, right? So what specific actionable thing are we going to protest to be changed to get the goal that we want, right? See, that's that's the point. What's the point of your protest if there's nothing specifically that are you trying to have happen? If all that you're trying to have happen is just for reality to be different than what it is, it's a useless protest. What are the steps to get there? What is the path to the reality that you want, right? That's an effective protest, a protest saying, we specifically want this sort of law enacted or this law to be changed. That's useful. That's something people can work with. There can be policy enacted about that. You can actually affect change. But if you're just out there shouting into the void that you want life, you want a different sort of world than what you've got, you're not going to change anything. All you're going to do is irritate people nearby who are just trying to go about their day. And that, I think, in some ways is actually going to be detrimental to your cause. People are going to be like, oh, here's all those ladies complaining again about what it, what is it they even want, right? So I think I think that's it's not an effective women's march. If you want an effective women's march, you have to have specific goals. And if Nella wants an effective protest, they've got to have specific goals, specific things that they are looking to change in specific ways. And I don't, I don't know, just... I don't tr trust from what we've seen of her that she's got that. I think it's more of the shouting angrily and chanting sort of protest. Weren't you in a rush? Yeah, but I want to talk some more. Actual, real organic meat is almost impossible to come by. I wonder where she got those pork sausages. Was it even pork? Or was it... people? No, I'm sure it's pork. Is... Is she serious about that being a possibility, or is she just thinking that to be funny? Where did you say those sausages came from again? 
The Collective, they have a storefront on Caprova, right next to the metro entrance. They don't make a big number of it. But... organic meat? Are you sure they're legal? Did you taste them? They're divine! That's not what I asked. Freedom and democracy, like meat's supposed to taste. How meat tasted before they started growing it all in vats. They slaughter animals to get that meat. Animals, Zoe. Animals! They get to be alive for a glorious moment. They get to be food. Circle of life, Atsi. You're a very odd person. <laughs> I mean, I'm on board with I don't want to eat vat-grown meat either. I saw an article today talking about there's uh, a lab-grown meat that's on its way to being appro approved by the FDA for human consumption. and I don't want to eat lab-grown meat. That sounds weird and gross. I'd rather just eat normal meat like humans have been doing throughout the whole history of humanity but the question that we were asking her were not was not about she asked is it legal so is it she dodged that question straight off okay i never see a lot of customers here but nella must be doing all right this spot can't be cheap it's prime real estate how's nella bites doing it's got bite man Paletti, that's what that means. Doing good. It must be expensive to rent a spot up here. You wouldn't believe it, but I'm super bon. Totally fine. It's just that I never see a line. There are other ways of being fine. Fried cheese ain't all I'm selling, Zozo. What are you selling? Oh. I'm the idiota. Not drugs or guns or my body. I just mean there's more to it than the food cart. I'm also selling idealism and social engagement. People pay for that? How do you profit from that? There are ways. I may be Marxist, but that doesn't mean I don't believe in a free market economy. What? Um... You know what I mean. I think I do. I think you like to be edgy, and so you've chosen Marxism because it's edgy, but you don't... What? Ooh, Wadi over here advertising. It's always nice to chat with Nella, but I need to get going. Enjoy. I always do, Zozo. Bye! All right. She's interesting. She's definitely interesting. The best food in Propaz down comes from the street vendors breakfast. and their food carts. Right. Hands down, Keep no walking. contest. Propaz has the best selection of street food in Neuropolis. There's no reason to cook, ever. Nello oh, bites, e except when Reza don't. cooks. <laughs> I'm fine with him cooking. The street food here is really, really good and down smells absolutely delicious. Right, the best walking. food in Propaz comes okay. from the street vendors and their food carts. Hands down, no the contest. garbage bin. I'm a bit creeped out by the talking bins. They talk? Why do they talk? What shadowy masters do they serve? What's it say? And get my hand chewed off? No chance. I'll be tossing my garbage in the gutter like a normal person. Oh, that's terrible, Sally. If you don't take care of the place you live, you have to take pride in where you live. Don't throw your garbage in the gutter. I don't hear it saying anything. Talking, walking, incinerating walking? garbage bins. Granted, I haven't seen them walking, but I'm uh, well. sure they do. Late at night, when no one's looking. I'm a bit creeped out by the talking bins. Why do they talk? What shadowy masters do they serve? I haven't heard them say anything. Propast has the best selection of street food in Europe. Okay, so they're saying There's the same no thing. to cook, ever. Except when Reza cooks. I'm fine with him cooking. Map. Get your map here! Alright. Map! Crow boy here. I'm one rootin' tootin' six battle shootin' crow cowboy. So you are. Okay. Our apartment is off Sun and Shine Plaza in the aptly named Sun and Shine Terraces by OCG. Sunny living? Yeah. How do Where's we get Sun and Shine Plaza on the map? Sponsored by original consumer goods, Sun and Shine Plaza is the only place in Propass with an artificial sun. And it's burning hot. Yeehaw. An artificial sun. It was a pleasure serving you this fine day, miss. Oh. And now we've got a map. What do we got here? Oh. Uh, there it is. Okay. All right. And so then this is, yep, this highlighted on his map so that is where home is and we are oh. okay 
Crowdy partner, where are you off to today? Crowdy? Mira's shop is located in the bricks, in what used to be Propast Auto Service. I'm not sure what the official name is, but I'm sure Pandemonium won't be on this map. Really? What kind of place are we working for then, Zoe? Do you know where Propast Auto Service is located? One second, doll. Why, I sure do. But that garage closed down years ago. I can direct you to- I want to go to there. Well, certainly. The building's still there, right smack in the bricks. According to the city net, it's abandoned. So watch out for squatters and undesirables. Anytime you need a rootin' tootin', six barrel shootin' crow cowboy to give you directions to anywhere in Propast, you just call on the crow boy. What? If we're in Europolis and it's so it's European, why is it a cowboy mascot? That's a very North American type of thing. Huh, isn't it? I would I would think so. There are Is Europe interested in cowboys? Yeehaw, I got a hankering for giving you directions. Reza's office is down by Prista Vista, the old river docks, right behind the Collapse Memorial. Where's that Show one? me Prista Vista, please. The Pamatnik Collapse. Planning on a trip down okay. the river? You got it, cowgirl. Pro Pass Docks, coming right up. Don't be a stranger now, you hear? So, all the places he told us about are on level one. Oh, and my marker moves each time, so... That's where Raza is, so that's the last place we want to go. So we'll leave that is what we're focused on. And then Pandemonium was somewhere down here, and home is over here. So we want to look at all this other stuff before we go there. All right. Those interactive tourist maps helped a lot when I first moved here. They're still helpful. I still get lost. An interactive tourist map of Propast. Super useful. It is pretty useful. Before last year, I was never that into Crowboy. I don't know what happened, but now I find him adorable. <laughs> he grew on you, huh? So Shadri Terraces. Hmm. I'm a dreamer. <laughs> I'm not. That's the last thing I want to be. Ha ha. Although that's interesting, those are similar to like the glowy tattoos she had when she was a dreamer. What a corpse dream machine. I played a part in exposing the conspiracy, but I couldn't stop them from releasing it. And now it's taken over the world. Those ads, for some reason, give me goosebumps. The icky kind. What is... Is that you? I hate ad bots. They're like mosquitoes, constantly buzzing, blood-sucking parasites. An ad bot floating around? This seems like the kind of thing... This is the kind of thing that I could see happening almost in real life, right? I could see advertisers thinking, oh, fabulous idea, we'll just float around and target... Corporate-sponsored ad bot. They were illegal in ah. Casablanca. I miss Casablanca. Those ad bots are all over the place. Sometimes I think they target me specifically just to fuck with me. They might. She's attracted the attention of some powerful people. Is it you and talking? MTI has what you need. There's a convergence of interests, is what I'm saying. Uh-huh. Okay, so here's what's going to happen. We'll let them know we have their files, and that they'll find their way into the, um... the open market, unless they agree to sell. Oh. Between getting something or nothing, they'll choose something. You really don't want to know the how. All you need to know is what you're getting and how much it'll cost you. The moment I see the cash, we start moving. Not a percentage of it. Not most of it. All of it. Look, this channel is secure, but I don't like staying connected for too long in one spot. You'll hear from us soon. In the meantime, your only job is to follow the instructions and stay cool. Ciao. Sounds like you're up to something shady, Deidre. Oh Yang. Do I know you? Hey, were you eavesdropping? No. You should mind your own business, or you could wake up tomorrow and find that your life has been reformatted. Zoe Maya Castillo. Who are you? How do you know who I am? That's right. I can connect to your iris, tap into your archives, 
pick your life apart piece by piece. This is one of the big dangers of having too much of our information stored online, right? Take a walk, sister. You heard nothing. And if I see you again, you're gonna find out firsthand what I'm capable of. Call her bluff. Did I not make myself clear? You're skating on thin ice above a bottomless abyss of hurt. All right, I want to know what happens if we press it. Do I know you? Oh, if we're cycling you back. Stopping? Okay. You should mind your own business, or you could wake huh. up tomorrow and find that your life has been reformatted. Okay. Zoe Maya Castillo. I was over here, and then I got distracted running after that ad bot. So now, where do we want to go? Let's see. Okay, so back here was our therapist. We do want to see all of it. Let's go straight here. Check out all of this, but without going down these stairs, we'll get all of this top layer. See what's over here. And then we'll go down over on this side. And I think that means we'll hit everything that's up here. So, okay, back this way where I was going. Spend time outside, breathing toxic fumes and Your choice, animals. your dream. A bingo <laughs> act. After what Reza told me about that dream of soft drink, I'm never... No, I mean, I lie. I am a bit curious to try it. I mean, actually seeing the bingo dingo? <laughs> it sounds awesome. Before the soda wars, there were a lot more soft drink flavors. I wouldn't know. I grew up with bingo. I'm a bing girl. Bing girl? Whatever. They're really pushing the new bingo dreamer fizzy drink. Anything dream machine related is a big seller these days. Makes sense. But it doesn't seem like that's not the, something you'd want to check out, Zoe. You got bad feelings about the dream I machine. The They're justified. Time yesterday. What did you do? I started with my own creation, and then I mixed in one of Chavaez's dreams, the one with the bull. El Toro Gigante, five stars in the dream store. That's the one. Totally surreal. I just bought the latest Barkley bundle. That's next weekend sorted. I'm not leaving the flat. I'm not a big Barku fan. I'm saving up for the latest Nidra dream. It's supposed to be epic. Nidra's good. Penelope's better. She's coming out with a new dream next month. The previews are amazing. I won't be leaving my bedroom for a week. Good times, I'd say. Good times. Hey, what if this is the dream, and when we connect to the dreamer, we wake up? That's really deep, Colo. That's really deep, Colo. What is it? In the game, it's 2200 something. So, if you look back far enough in history, Colo, you'll see that people for a while have been talking about these kind of things. What if this is the Matrix? That boat is moving really fast down there. Um, but that's interesting. So, people can create and share dreams on a dream market, huh? Stop. All right, we want to go. Data Brooks says the experience of gravitas needed to lead you. All right. Ooh, this is a dead end, so let's see what's down here. This thing looks like it needs a repair. So is this like a street map, or is this some kind of circuit map just on the side of a building? I wonder if this is something that will become relevant later, because it's... It looks interesting, and it looks different from other places we've seen. Right. But I can't interact with it. Something about the positioning of it just seems like it should be relevant. Dieter Gross. Dependable, conservative, boring old white dude. The Alliance is not going to win. They spent the last seven years running Europolis into the ground. Oh, this game really is just hitting a lot of current issues. I'm, I'm so tired of hearing about boring old white dudes and how bad boring old white dudes are. Like, it's. I thought we're supposed to not be judging people based on the color of skin, right? So what does it matter if this boring old dude is white or if he were a different color? It... I don't know. 
I'm just I'm tired I'm I'm tired. I'm tired of people ascribing like all the problems to different racial groups. It's just it's the same it's the same sort of things that we've been dealing with for years, right? Everybody always pointing fingers at one group or another. It seems like the it's the turn now for boring old white dudes to be the source of all of society. But that's funny too. They're the source of all of society's ills. But then when if we look at people who are saying we need more socialism or communism or Marxism or, Marxism or whatever else, like, wasn't that some old white dude that came up with all that too, guys? I don't. Let's look at, let's look at ideas. Let's look at if people are actually effective or not. And let's stop focusing on what race they are. It seems like the less relevant thing the about The street food here is really, really good and oh. smells absolutely delicious. Still nothing new about the street carts, okay. After they dominated the soda wars, bingo's pretty much the only show in town. And by show, I mean fizzy drink. After they dominated oh, the soda that's wars, all we got to say about bingo's that. pretty much the only show in town. Diana and I by show, She looks familiar. Does she? Should, should I recognize her? Do I know her? Sure, I know her from somewhere. I've seen her before. She's. Uh, um. Nope, can't place her. Do I know her? Sure, David I know Thompson. Her from, I've seen him somewhere before. I right, have we? I don't. I don't recognize these he people. He looks really familiar. Who is that? Do I know him? Who is that? Do I know him? I. I don't know who these people are. And still, none of these garbage bins have talked to me. The Uminska ads are bold, and she does come across as a leader. That's why I'm volunteering for her, I guess. That, and also Baruti's passion. I do like the Uminska ads. I think they get the message across. I'm proud to be associated with her political campaign. Okay. Uminska's face is plastered all over the city. Unity's making a major push before the elections. I really do think that they, we, stand a decent chance. The Uminska ads are bold and she does come across as a leader. That's why I'm volunteering for her, I guess. That and also Baruti's passion. Crowboy's here to help you find your oh, way he startled path. me. Didn't realize that was you, Crowboy. Okay. I feel like I'm going in the right direction, but let's double check. Wait. Oh dang it! I'm. I thought I was. I thought I was on level two. Oh, maybe I. Okay. But did I go down some stairs? I didn't mean to go down. Where is this? Okay, that definitely goes further down. This is that dead end. And now I'm back on level two. Okay, so... So this seems right. But why when I go down here, does it pop me down to level one? That's weird. Okay, I... I think this was right because there were stairs going back up again. So maybe this is the way to go. Let's get to the top and check. Okay. Yeah, I guess, I mean, this is where I was trying to get to, so I guess that's right. All right, so we want to go over here Shoot down here real quick just to see if there's anything in this corridor. Then come back, go up, and then go down over here. And then maybe we'll loop around over through here. Home was over this way. Go along here. Hmm, this part's a little trickier. Up around here, here. Over to all of this. And then we're going to need to go down and then come back to Reza at the end. Okay, so let's 
see if there's anything interesting here in this corridor, but it looks like it's just gonna go straight through to where we were. Back on this. It's between oh. Wolf and Ominska, isn't it? Gross and Rebus are not even competing. Yeah, the Alliance is screwed up too often, and Manifesto never stood a chance. Dawn is the only sensible alternative. You mean Unity, of course. Not Dawn. You said Dawn, but you meant Unity. Um... Right? I'm voting Wolf. You're what? Are you Chango Dupa? He's a fascist chauvinist pig. What about Lea Uminska? She's a Sozi Zika. She's weak and she's soft. With her in charge, the walls are coming down and the barbarian hordes will wash over Europe. That's so racist. Telling the truth is being a racist now. Face it, we don't have room for more immigrants. It's time we focus on rebuilding what Europolis is all about. Europe. It's like I don't know you anymore. I'm sorry, do you mind? See what I mean? Immigrants everywhere. <laughs> I was listening in, I had no business, but my what a nasty thing to say. <laughs> this this really does though feel like when was this game made? This feels like a whole lot like the political debates that we've been having here in the US over the past couple of elections. All right, Caprova walkways. Well, is it Caprova or is it Caprova? I'm not sure where the emphasis After is. After they dominated the Soda Wars, Bingo is right. pretty much the only show in town. And by show, I mean fizzy drink. Touch I get it. my hand chewed off. No chance. I'll be tossing my garbage in the gutter like a normal person. Okay, we've got options here. Where do we want to go? We want to go opposite of where I'm going now. So this takes us down to the next level. We want to finish no off way this. You can convince me that Kaiser Constantine. Do you really have to call him that? It's so derogatory. Mm. Constantine Wolf doesn't go around calling your candidate names. No. Have you seen the graffiti? I don't think Wolf has the time to walk around with a spray can. His fascio army does. They're everywhere at sea. Who do you think is behind the checkpoints at the iBots? The Syndicate. And who's behind the syndicate? The corporations. European Dawn wants to free us from corporate rule. They want the people to run this city. They want democracy and freedom. Unlike Leia Ominska. Oh, come on! Are you going to argue that the Social Democrats are in the corpse's pockets? Not my words. Just repeating what they say. They as in the Kaiserlings. I told you, Duper, don't use that word. Duper? Duper? Dupec? Whatever you do, don't vote for the Kaiser. Don't listen to her. She's just a sozy bobo. <laughs> I, I gotta say, though, I agree with what he said at the beginning there about the, the nicknames. Like, it, it really does to me, the people who, who come up with those stupid nicknames, like, I don't, I cannot take people seriously I, when I see online, when they refer to whoever hold the, the figurehead of their opposing view, when they refer to him by some stupid nickname. Like, I just... Right or left, I cannot take you seriously if you can't just call people by their appropriate names, right? Just call them what their name actually is. The insults are, are really lame. Um, and I think actually he's got a bit of a point in that it's not like who's in control of the syndicate and who controls the syndicate? The corporations. I think that really, and, and then when, but they needed to take it a step further, right? So probably all the political parties are under the thumb to one degree or another of the corporations. It's money. It's money that, that rules the world. That's what it is. So here they are arguing with each other. I don't know. I'm feeling politically disillusioned lately. I feel like there's a lot of divisiveness and it's not really helpful. And it's like we're fighting each other, but there's, but we're not, each other's not the people we should be fighting. The right and the left aren't really I don't know, they're pointless. There's there's more behind it. We have to look at the, the deeper problems. And instead we're getting caught up on surface things that ultimately don't matter that much. Really there's not there's gotta be something down here, right? What is this? House of Dreams. Okay, I could not read that pink word there. 
Madame Nix. She's famous. I've heard of her. Yeah? The House of Dreams is a dream emporium where people go to hook into dream machines. Sort of like an opium den. What, like, if you can't afford to buy your own, you can go kind of like the equivalent of, like, an arcade, right? Nix runs the House of Dreams. You hear stories, none of them good. Hmm. But, hey, it is on Caprova. What does that mean if it is on Caprova? And that makes me feel better. Caprova, so I did say it right the first time. Madame Nix. She's famous. I've heard of her. What else have we got? It is a nice place to view things from up here, but... So this again seems to me like maybe further down the line there'll be something to do over here. Because it's, it's a big chunk of map to be able to go down and have nothing to interact with. I mean, maybe it won't. Maybe that just really is what it is. Just a long dead end, but... Feels like there should be something, so... Maybe later. Oh, we got some music down here. And now it's gone. Where was it from? This building? Oh, then we got stairs going down even more, huh? Okay, where does the map say we are here? On level one. So where do those other stairs go? You look familiar. I do. Oh, it looks like this is still level one. Okay, well, I don't want to go this direction yet, I don't think. We want to finish up up here. Ooh. I'm not into Grand Theft Auto or spending the next ten years in a labor camp. All right. But you don't have any observations to make about it? No eye option? All right, all right. Autumn. She looks familiar. I does she? I've seen her before. She's uh, um nope, can't place her. She looks familiar. This looks familiar. Look at this rubber duck. Yeah, I remember that one. That's from um The Longest Journey. There was a puzzle with an inflatable ducky. Oh, and what's this? Missing someone's missing their own wonkers. That one's green though. Oh, okay, Sunshine Plaza, so we must be... Oh. Hey, I know, I know, I'm on my way, honest. I'm just taking Wait, the scenic lunch? route. Of course, Pfft. who do you take me for, Miss Distracted? Just a little bit. Uh, yes, yes, that's exactly who I take you for. Oh, ye of little faith. Five minutes, tops. Right, and you do know where the office is, right? I talked to the crow boy. I'm directions, granted, but, you know, come on. <laughs> All right. Just checking. Keep the river on your left and you'll find it eventually. Oh, go away. Oh, and see you soon. Eyes everywhere. I've never seen so many of them out on the streets. The eye. Keeping Propass safe, or, you know, under constant surveillance. Mm. Eye officers, employed by the Syndicate, which works for the corporations. And around and around it goes. Exactly, so it makes you wonder, like... What's even the point of the election? It seems almost farcical. It's still going to be the corporations running everything. Eyes everywhere. I've never seen so many of them out on the streets. You wrote Jim. What's in 50 meters over here? What's going on with this lady? Hey. Oh, we had an option. Dream Junkie. The only way to help dream junkies is to forcibly disconnect them and put them in rehab. But who's going to pay for that? <laughs> Not Watticorp. No. A dream junkie, addicted to dream time. They're all over the place. It's becoming a massive problem. That right there is why I don't use a dream machine and why I think they're so dangerous. Smart. 
They've lost jobs, homes, all because they're addicted to dream time. It's really scary. I know dream machines are supposed to be safe after that whole plot to control humanity was exposed, but looking at those dream junkies, I'm not so sure. I wouldn't even be convinced that the plot to control humanity was really entirely, I don't, I don't know, I don't trust a big corporation that much. I wouldn't be convinced that that was entirely foiled. Why the take a chance on such a machine, up to the dream machine if it had the ability to do that in the time. first place? It's a drug, and it's dangerous. Alright, did she say- I don't know if they should stop selling some, dream machines altogether, but more and more people are getting addicted. Something must be done. A dream junkie, addicted to dream time. Okay, she definitely said that They're before. all over the place. It's becoming a massive problem. Can we talk to her? I miss you so much, Chile. I miss you so much, baby. Not really, though. It's just a dream. It's not. Please, don't leave me again, baby. Stay here with me. Please, don't leave again. Just stay. Original here. consumer goods. Rebuilding the new Europe one I sunny day so at a time. Well, that's pretty sad. I miss you so much, well, baby. Do we want to mess with her? How are people if you take the dreamer, if you forcibly remove it? Are they violent? I think just disconnecting them from the dream machine could be dangerous, mm. and I'd probably get beaten up for trying to help. Fair point. Ooh, that must be that artificial sun. Yeah. I do wish they'd dial down the intensity a bit. It's July. We don't need to add insult to injury. Our OCG-sponsored sun substitute. It's the closest we get to actual Original sunlight in the pro past. Would like to remind you not to stare directly Apparently, at it's not just an artificial sun, but also the wire singularity for pro past, which means there could be a wormhole inside that burning ball of plasma. Sounds safe. <laughs> and we just heard a voice in the background saying, "Don't stare directly at it," and I'm staring directly at it. Apparently, it's not just an artificial sun, but also the wire singularity for pro past, which means there could be a wormhole inside that burning ball of plasma. Sounds safe. Okay, so this is... We've got this whole area here I want to take a look at. Billions of people use the dream machine. I find that hard to comprehend. One in five people access dream time at least once a week. It's a wildly successful product. Like it or not, and I don't, you can't deny that Wattie's doing a really good job selling their dream machines. Wattie Corp's dream machine. I played a part in exposing the conspiracy, but I couldn't stop them from releasing it. And now it's taken over the world. Freeze-dried jellyfish chips. Vacuum-packed boiled beet. Carbonated tequila shots. Blood pudding fudge, fried cabbage jerky, fudge. Oh, salted pigeon bits. Bits? Hmm, which bits? Good question. A cornucopia of tasty snacks. Tasty. Yeah, tasty. Man, Europe. I don't know, some of them sounded interesting. They might not Can't be bad. I believe it's not guano. Well, not that one. Some days I really, really miss Africa. Freeze dried jellyfish chips, vacuum packed boiled beet. Carbonated tequila shots, blood pudding fudge, fried cabbage jerky, oh, salted pigeon bits. Is this one bits? special? Oh, which bits? There's absolutely nothing I would want in there. Oh, come on. She just wants the food cart stuff. She doesn't want... Oh, what's this? Hello. Who am I visiting? No one. Th that's who I'm visiting. Uh, panel closed. Closed panel. Uh, hello? Hi, um, wrong address? What do I do now? I don't know what to do now. What do I do now? Okay. I don't so know basically, what to do now. stop messing around with a random door. Mystery tower. I've asked everyone what those towers are, and no one knows for sure. Some say anti grab units from before the collapse, others say they're vents. Nella claims those towers release chemicals that keep the populace subdued and compliant, but her argument is self-defeating. She breathes the same air, and she is not compliant. 
good point. My theory is that they were built as a practical joke to keep everyone guessing. But they're probably just vents. Seems I've asked everyone likely. what those towers are and no one knows for sure. Some say anti-grav units from before the collapse, others say they're vents. Every day, more armoured vehicles. You'd think the Eye was preparing for war. There's no scenario with a happy ending where these things roll into action. I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, does this not normally hang out around here? Every day, more armoured vehicles. You touch get it. fried, or shot, or beaten to death. I like my quiet, anonymous life of no crime and as few beatings as possible. Understandable. Cloud Nine Prosthetics. Dream a new look. Huh. The Eye. Keeping Propass safe, or, this is no you know, place for under a young constant lady. surveillance. <laughs> the bitch tits. Cool. I should go see that. With Reza. Or maybe... No. Reza. Or maybe who else? You better not be thinking about your therapist, Zoe. Cool. I should go see that. With Reza. Or maybe... No. You know, Reza. or break up with Reza and just see it by yourself. You don't have to see it with anybody. Or go with some friends. The Divide. Coming soon. Oh, you guys aren't having a conversation that I can listen in on? Alright. Oh. Emma de Freehair is setting up a new art gallery here. I convinced her Propass would be the perfect location. Emma got in touch after I woke from the coma, but we haven't really chatted about what happened in Newport. Maybe when she comes in for the opening. Well, and if she's coming here and you said you're looking for friends, maybe she could be a friend. Emma said she wants to talk, but I'm still not sure how much I want to know about what happened in Newport. All of it, Zoe. All of it. You need to know as much as you can. Emma's gallery is opening soon, I think. She's calling it The Divide. I don't get the reference, but it does fit with Propast. Alright, that's just Hold a tower on. again. Nothing I'm moving, here. take it easy. Ralph Furby. He looks really familiar. I've seen him somewhere before. Who is that? Do I know him? Are, are these people maybe that she helped in dreams? And that's why they're familiar? Because there's a lot of these people she's saying are familiar and I don't recognize them. You all aren't having a conversation I can listen in on? Alright. Ooh, Seraph Kavarna. Okay, let's observe it first. My favorite Avant Cafe and Meta Brewery. It's a chain, yeah, but local to the Prague district and so much better than those Scandinavian Omni chains. What's wrong with, with chain places? I'm fine with chain the places. The Kavana has a great selection of Mate, Zbiten, Borica, and my favorite, Coca Chai. And I'm starting to sound like an ad bot. Kavana's also a meta brewery, a self-referential and self-replicating auto brewery, mixing unique and new flavors every day, never twice the same beer. Well then what if they make one you really like? Does that mean you can't ever get it again? Sometimes it tastes great. Other times it's like drinking raw sewage, but oh. it's always exciting. So we hang out there a lot. Kavana, our local Avant Cafe and meta brewery. All right, let's check it out. Tempting. Oh, okay. I, I don't have time for a tall glass of iced coca chai right now. Mm. Iced coca chai. That's kind of a weird bit. Oh, dead end. Very well. Can we chase the birds? We can. Vienna? Vienna. Oh. Two nights in the metro station, waiting for my permit to clear so that I can go home. Good for dumb of Vienna. Nothing but bobos, mueslis, and sugary pastries. Delicious pastries, Laska. Did you see any eye checkpoints in Vienna? Not yet, no. They're voting Kaiser Constantine. What's that got to do with it? Come on. Everyone knows European Dawn and the Syndicate are in cahoots. 
I'm sure Vienna gets special treatment. I had to resubmit my credentials three times before the system even acknowledged my existence. And this was to get home to Propast. Scheiße. And me planning that full weekend of rum trash in Amsterdam next month. Talk about police state. Full on Orwellian. Or what, Ian? Never mind. They want us to stay locked up inside, hooked up to dream time, spending Mausa and keeping our mouths shut. Paranoia much? Never enough answer. Hola, Chica. Excuse us, we're having a private conversation. Well, you're having your private conversation in public. That's a poor argument. I would not, I would not go and eavesdrop on people in real life, but... In the game? Yeah, we're gonna eavesdrop on everybody. But there's definitely a lot of discontent in this city. Can we go home, or is it gonna yell at us that we need to go feed Reza? Ooh. Oh, in we go. Well, well, here's our apartment. A box. Three months now, and I still haven't unpacked most of my useless crap. So we have been, what, two or three years in my house, and I still haven't unpacked everything. I can't even remember what's in these boxes. I tossed everything from my bedroom in Casablanca in there. I haven't felt up to sorting through it all. One of these days, for sure. Three months now, and I still haven't unpacked most. We could survive without a fridge. It's only used for keeping takeaway leftovers until they have to be tossed and beer. So, oh, okay, so we could not survive without it. Uh -huh. Not even a single fridge magnet. We're the worst people. I have only a couple fridge mag magnets because my husband says, why do we need fridge magnets? Some people prefer a fridge without them, silly. Our fridge is a barren womb. A desolate no man's land of soy sauce, a half-eaten box of takeaway noodles, a decimated six-pack of bear beer and baking soda. Bear beer? Not even a single fridge magnet. We're the worst. The apartment came with a traditional stovetop and oven, which is great since it lets us, well, Reza, cook traditional dinners. It's okay if you don't know much about cooking, so I don't use that a lot, but Reza's a pretty good cook. We don't have a maker, but there's so much good street food in this neighborhood, we won't starve. Oh, yeah, open it up. What would be the point? It's even sadder on the inside. Fine. I don't get it. Oh, a painting. Oh, over here, I'm looking at Reza bought that. I'm, um, uh, yeah. I didn't buy that. Not your kind of thing, huh? What is that? A rake? I think it's a rake. What What about it would be a rake? Okay, like, like, like the yard tool implement we're talking, right? Like a, like a leaf rake? Reza bought that. I don't see how it could I'm, be. Um, Maybe uh, she needs yeah. a different sort of rake. I didn't. Okay, so there are dirty dishes. We're not perfect. I think it's my turn. Ugh. Okay, so there are dirty dishes. We're not perfect. What? That's actually not that many dirty dishes at all. Yeah, no. Later. Back up. Observe. Bouncy. Thoroughly tested for bounciness. Comfy. Oh. As far as a sofa scavenged from a flea market goes. Picture me stretched out on that sofa facing the screen and you have the Castillo Tamiz household in a nutshell. Picture me stretched out on that sofa facing the screen and you have the Castillo Tamiz oh, household I didn't know that it would... in a nutshell. It actually let us sit on it. Nice. Oh, there we go. Sebastian Hot. Euro trash. Oh, she talked about that in her therapy session. Well, I'm not recognizing these names so far. Europolis Most Wanted. Georgius Chris. Oh, it went by too quick. So is this, like, developers or something? People who worked on the game? And then we're back to this one. Okay. We'll just leave it on. Why not? 
What else can we look at from the couch? We have the best view of a brick wall and neon signs in Propast. If by best, you mean worst. I want to see. Oh, that's not such a bad view. I mean, okay, yeah, you're looking directly onto the building across, but, I mean, you can look down, you can look up. There's other things to see. How come it's always raining when I'm in here, but when I go outside, it's not? Mind you, I'm not complaining, it's just odd. You know, that's a good point. It was raining in our therapy session too, wasn't it? It's very film noir. We're living inside a film noir. Noiry. How come it's always raining when I'm in here, but when I go outside, it's not? Mind you, I'm not complaining. The ventilation has been on and off for weeks. The agency promised they'd fix the membranes, but nope. I can't survive another Europolis summer in a non-ventilated apartment. I'll go insane. Now here's a point. She was talking about, oh, it's July and it's so hot with the artificial sun. If it's July, why is she wearing a jacket? The ventilation has been on and off for weeks. The agents... Nope, still nothing. The cooling's off and it's going to be a thousand degrees in here tonight. Mr. Planty. He's been through a lot, poor chap. The drought of last Tuesday. The great tumble of June. This morning's accident with the half-empty beer can. Poor Mr. Planty. And they said I couldn't take care of a living thing. In their stupid faces. Mr. Planty. Must be a very he's been through a lot, sturdy sort of plant. The drought of last Tuesday. The great tumble of June. Oh, here's this morning, walkers. his battery barely holds a charge. I'll leave him in hibernation for now until I can get a new one. We can't get in our closet? Alright. What's this say? Sunny living. Oh. Memories. I need those around. Memories. I need those around. What time is it? I'm not going to bed. It looks pretty when it turns, but slowly churning hot and humid air around isn't going to help a great deal. It'll help some. I'm sure increasing the speed might make a difference, but we keep forgetting to adjust it. It looks pretty when it turns. All right, let's try it. I'll need a stepladder to get up there and adjust the speed. Tonight. I swear. I pinky swear. Can't mess with it now, huh? Very well. Okay, let's be responsible. We'll turn the TV off before we leave. Oh. And the bathroom is depressingly small. We take turns, and sex in the shower would be an extreme sport. Even if the building was up to scratch, that bathroom would be reason enough to move. The bathroom is depressing. We're not going to take a look at it. can't remember what's in these boxes. Oh, boxes. I tossed everything from my bedroom in Casablanca I must have in there. something. I haven't felt up to sorting through it all. All right, well, I think that's it for our apartment. It is quite small. But as she said in her journal, it's it's small, but it's hers, so she's happy with it for now. All right. I totally lost track of time. I feel like probably now is going to be a good place to stop. We haven't seen nearly all of the whole city, but we have these conversations that we keep stumbling on, and I do want to hear what the NPCs are saying. So I am going to stop and listen to like every conversation that I come across. So... I think we'll wind things down here, and then we'll come back, and let's go down along the riverfront. Do we want to cut up here? Let's maybe go all the way along the riverfront. Not stop by Rez's work. We'll skip him for now. Then we'll go along like these outside edges over to here. And then we got to hit these last couple bits. I think that's our plan.